Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to perform the sinusoidal pulse width modulation with the help of analog to digital converter ADC and the pulse width modulation modules of the DSP processor. So, in this video, we are going to convert the MATLAB simulink model into the code composition studio. So, some of the steps we are going to follow, what kind of steps we need to follow to convert the MATLAB simulink model into the code composition studio. So, before going further, if you haven't subscribed my channel, go and subscribe the channel. For this, we need the ADC block, uh, zero order hold, gain, uh, and uh, three gains we need. Uh, this is the this is the TBPRD uh, time. Is, this will decide your frequency and the EPWM block to generate the PWM pulses. So we'll see what is inside the uh, how to select the values from ADC block. So these are the modules. It there are two modules A, B, and A and B. So we can select any one. In the conversion mode, we can use the sequential and simultaneous conversion for ADC as we have talked about in previous lecture. In the start of conversion with the help of software, EPWM and ADC SOC. Sampling time and 5 wiki power minus 6 and data type is double. Input channels, uh, we are using the one conversion. So, we are use, taking here the conversion number 1 and conversion number is ADC A0. And uh, this ADC will generate a digital output in the uh, and it is in the form of 4096 as it is 16 bit uh, ADC so, and uh, zero order hold will uh, keep the output and it will hold the ADC output and now this gain is convert your ADC output into 3 volts so 3 divided by 4096 when it will be 4096 we will get the 3 at output. And further we are converting 3 volts into 1 volt so 3 volt divided by 3 it will be you will get the 1 volt okay so 1 is further multiplied with the tbprd so when it will be 0 we will get 0 when it will be 1 it we will get output 37500 so other uh, in EWM block we have a uh, modules uh, epwm1 it has a 16 epwm uh, channels and the time period we are keeping as a TBPRD it this is the 2 kilohertz for the 2 kilohertz switching frequency so 37500 and counting mode we are using up counting you can use up down and up down counting mode time base is uh, TBC time base clock and high speed clock piece color are 2 and 1 respectively now EP, EPWM 1A uh, here uh, compare A units uh, with the help uh, clock cycles we are keeping and specified compare via either we can use the input port and we can use the uh, specify wire dialog specify our input if you are using input port means we are giving the compare units from the outside so initial value we have kept as 7500 you can keep anything any value between uh, 0 to tbprd value okay so uh, shadow mode we are keeping a counter when counter equals to zero we are keeping the shadow register we are keeping the values in the shadow registers and uh, when what action we have to take when counter equal to zero we are setting uh, the output to one and uh, okay so when counter will equal to zero then we are uh, set to one and when counter will reach to P tbprd uh, we are uh, doing nothing and when counter will reach to when counting uh, counter is up count mode and uh, when counter is up counter mode and uh, your compare A will reach there. So what action we have to take? We are making clear that bit. And as it is up counting mode, uh, the down counting is not in monitor here. So we are we don't care about these. Now if EPWMB will be the same but reverse zero, it will be clear. And dead wind units. If you want to use uh, inverter one leg, so you can use the dead wind units to generate the uh, time instant between uh, two legs. Okay. So now we have to go to model configure parameters and hardware implementations. So you have to select a TI Delphino 2833X. So it will automatically give you the Texas instrument and C2000 and uh, click it OK. If you have connected the hardware uh, to the uh, system. OK, so it will come to 28335 uh, as I'm using the TMS320F 28335. Now uh, just save it and just run it will show is if no error is there and pause and stop the simulations now deploy to the hardware uh, when you are deploying to the hardware means uh, you are dumping you are generating the code for the uh, this program and uh, it will 
generate the code uh, and it will generate the several libraries several c files okay so now uh, this is done code has been generated successfully now we will go for view diagnostic and we will see now it is successfully completed and just click on the open project in code composer studio just click on that so it will open your code composer studio so it is the code composer studio version 8 it will open as i have installed ccs version 8 in my desktop so it will open this file now when you click on this pwm adc underscore testing it will be active and debug so just build uh, the now click on so again we will go to the debug section and it is showing some error again we are going to debug the program and we just run it when we are running now we will uh, go to the okay it is working fine there is no error in the program so now it is build finished it came here okay build has been finished now now we will look at the hardware so this is the hardware setup we have given the 50 hertz switching 50 hertz sine wave and magnitude is 0 to 3 volt as you can see on the screen and here the pwm pulse and one is the pwm pulse and other one is the sine wave of the 50 hertz and the pwm frequency is 2 kilohertz we have given now we will zoom it and we will see how the pulses are looks like so is these are the pwm pulses so we are comparing the triangular wave with the sine wave to generate the pwm pulses okay so these are the now what we'll do we will just change the frequency of the sine wave by okay so from 50 hertz to we are changing the 100 hertz and uh, we will see how the pulses will change so the sine wave will change and the pwm pulses will be remain the same as previous one and the frequency will change the fundamental frequency will change here now you can see the pwm pulses also it is fated uh, sine in the nature so we can easily uh, say like our pwm pulses are in the form of sign okay so now what we'll do we'll just change the uh, magnitude of the sine wave okay this is again we have changed the frequency and uh, from, from 100 to 50 hertz and now we'll change the magnitude from 3 volts to 2 volts and we will see so we can see there is a change in the PWM patterns as you can easily visualize there is a changes in the PWM patterns now we will change from 2 volts to again 3 volts and uh, we will again analyze how the PWM pulses will looks like when the sine wave has a magnitude of 0 to 3 volt and 0 to 2 volts now this is the dsp kit which we have using and this is the code composer studio so now we will terminate the program and if you haven't subscribed the channel please go and subscribe the channel